So Future apparently felt a certain way that Drake did this album with Savage. Metro and Future put this album, we don't like this guy. He comes in on a very strategic part to say. Wait, so so are you saying that that album title "We Don't Trust You" it's all about is about Drake? Of course, they don't, don't like him. Drake. Yes. But, but Future had a whole project. Metro don't like him. But Future had a whole album with Drake that ended no, up no, no. being a bigger album than the one he has with Metro. That's a little bit of the confusing part. But there's been rumors that Future, Future and Drake aren't on the same terms. So Future apparently felt a certain way that Drake did this album with Savage. He felt that way. Allegedly, because if you go back to when "What a Time" was, uh, "What a Time to Be Alive" was made, it was made at a unique point where Drake just came off of the, the Drake, uh, the, the Meek issues, and those issues, a lot of people were like, "Yo, this is a soft dude beefing with the street guy." He needed that cosign from the streets, right? That cosign was Atlanta. That cosign was Future. He stood next to Future as Future just came off a historic three-run um, album, a, a, a mixtape. Then he dropped his album, right? And then they did What a Time to Be Alive, right? So now Drake is almost like untouchable, right? So Drake comes back around, and by the way, this is the only hypo the hypo well hypocrite. <laughs> I can't even speak. This is the only like hypocritical part of the whole thing is that Future have done um, joint albums with other people too. He's done one with Thug, he's done one with you know, the late Juice World. Yeah. He's done one with other people. However, I think the, the, the reason why he felt a way is that if you're gonna come back to do one with an Atlanta rapper, a street rapper, years later, why do you go with Savage? Why don't you go with him? Now, I don't know if Savage and him also has a little weird things. You know it's Atlanta, niggas be beef, you don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know about that, but from what was what was said is that he always felt a way about that, right? Now, of course, there's internet like gossip saying that there's women in between them. That's a little bit more far fetched, just given the fact that like these guys, if you know anything about like some of the underlings of like some of the industry parties, and I don't even go out and I know some of this stuff. These guys basically go to Miami, set up shop, have 59 private parties where they invite 400 girls, and it's like 50 of them and their guys, and they fuck all the girls. You know what I mean? It's almost like the OVO FBT free call, right? You know what I'm saying? So to, for, for me to hear or believe that there's one girl that has caused worldwide, like, I, I'm not saying that hasn't happened in history between powerful men, but I'm like, hey, let's just put this in perspective. Their biggest record, we're talking about two guys who have probably grossed over $50 million just doing records with each other, right? We're talking about guys with diamond records. Life is good as a diamond record. Wait for you, it's about to be a diamond record. They've done albums together that's gone multi-platinum. We're talking about these guys just collaboration-wise is worth so much. I can't believe that pillow talking. Hey, he says you have a small penis. I don't know what was that. Oh, hey, he says you can. Uh, who knows what's that? You're telling me that's gonna break up an entire dynasty? So it gotta be more. I do think there's probably some, you know, Drake also is petty, right? What we've real about, realized about Drake is that when Drake starts to have a problem with you, one of the first thing he does is, on a very passive note, will do things to maybe mess with you or your mental when it comes to women. We just seen him with Ross. Ross unfollowed him, now champion, bumping um, the Kendrick diss in a whip. You know what he says? Okay. You know that girl you was like, you know, kissing all on in front of your private jet? Well, now I'm gonna write her a handwritten note to come to my show with tickets. Like, come on, petty shit. But, you know, at that level, as millionaires, you still feel a way because it's disrespect, right? But do I think that's the reason why Future and um, Drake are beefing up? Um, it, it has to be much deeper. And I'm almost thinking that we just don't know the full reason, and it's, it's just multivariate.